you for calling Social Security Administration. Please wait while we transfer your call to the concern officer. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling Social Security Administration Office. How may I help you? Ah uh, yes. Uh, I received a call from Social Security. Uh, late yesterday evening. I was out of town. I just got back. Uh, I'm just wondering what this is about. Okay. This is Social Security Administration Office, sir. I think you got a call, a call from our department. Okay. Uh, can you yes. provide me your uh, Can you provide me your first name and the last name? Oh uh, yes, the first name is Roger. Roger. That's R O J E R. Mhm. Mm uh, Dodger. Last name is Dodger. D O D G E R. Mhm. Mm uh, need the address. Can you provide me a social security number? Uh, yes, it's, it's, uh, 23 mm -hmm. uh, 74, mm -hmm. 74483. Okay, just be online. Okay. Okay. Hello? Yes, yes, I'm here. Okay, sir. When was the social security number was issued to you? Oh, it was issued in uh, 1965 or 1966, West Virginia. I, I just want to start it working. Was issued in Indiana? No, it's to West Virginia. Sorry? West Virginia. Okay. I've had it since 1966. Okay. So, now the reason to call you is to inform that uh, your, you are listed as a primary subject in case filed by DEA and the Treasury Department. So, I have received a 35 legal affidavit against your social security number, which is stating that there has been uh, several criminal activities under your social security number. Crim criminal activities? Yes, sir. And which includes money laundering and drug trafficking. So well, I, I need I to never, have your lawyer. I've never done any money laundering or drug trafficking. Okay. Did you lose your wallet anyway? Uh, no, no. Did you give your personal in information to anyone? No, I never do that. No. Be honest, sir. Do you give your personal information to anyone? No, I'm, I'm, I, I never give my personal information. I know better than that. Okay. Now, what happened is your social security number has been misused. Do you know that? No, I have no idea. You're in big trouble. I'm in big trouble. Yes. Because it's your responsibility to keep your in personal details very safe, right? Well, I always have. I've I've never leaked it out. I I I I, I have no. I don't know what the heck happened. What happened is now the D A has raided a house last week. When they raided the house from the crime site. When they investigated further, it came to the light that the house was rented under your social security number from last month. The rented the rented, rented under my social security? Yes. The further document which they collected had a bank statement from different bank under your social security number in which a big tra uh, transaction were made in cash, okay? Now the DEA has a strong e evidence that the social which is associated with you was used in the drug trafficking activity. So they hand over the inf investigation to the Treasury Department, okay? Excuse me, are you listening to me? Yes, I'm, I'm listening to every word you're saying. Yes. So now the Inspector of General Social Security Administration and the Department of Treasury has come to the conclusion that your social security number should be 
temporarily blocked till the further notice as this is a money laundering and drug trafficking case. Blocked? I, I'm, I'm, I'm retired. I, I rely upon my social security. Now I'm just curious. Now evidently uh, uh, this is identity theft with my social security but how can you come back and say it's me? I, uh, I could beat this in court. I'm going to have to get a hold of my lawyer. Yes, you can meet your lawyer, sir. But before that, um, now all the agents have a reason to believe that it was a willful act done with the intention willful to harm the act. nation. A willful okay? act? I didn't. No, I didn't do anything like that. Okay, I think you don't know anything about this case, right? No. Okay, did you apply for any online loans? No, I never apply for online loans. Never, huh? Okay, is there anyone drug addicted around you? Uh, pardon? Is there is anyone who is drug addicted around you, sir? Drug rated? Yes. No. No. Okay. Why? 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 No. What's that have no, to do with? Right. What's that have to? What's that have to do with this? Somebody being drug rated around me? What's that have to do with this? I don't know. Someone has misusing your social security number, and it's my responsibility to call you and inform because we got a complaint from the okay. treasury department. Okay, I see, what yeah, I do is I, I just the call. Listen to me. I just call, uh, transfer the call to my senior officer. Okay. Okay. It just be all. Hey, Dad. This is uh, Social Security. I'm in big trouble. I gotta try and straighten this out. I, I don't know what the heck's going on. Thanks for staying online. So this call is transferred to the senior officer. So my name is Mark. Okay. Okay. Hi, Mark. So this is about your social number, sir. Like I believe that you, like my colleague, have explained everything about the social number, right? Like yeah. you might be a, yes, sir. Like you might be a victim of identity theft, sir. Like. Well, I know I am. I have to be, but but uh, why is this coming back on me for? Because there were your SSN and your name used in that drug activity. Yes, but so this, this is identity theft. I have nothing to do with this. How how can you um, append this on me? Because it like, give me a moment, sir. Sure. Okay. Like, you know, let me, like now let me tell you that your SSN was used doesn't mean you have to be there, sir, on the crime side. You must have given your identity crime to someone side. else. Crime side? You said I mm -hmm. was there on the crime side? Yes, on the drug activity and the money laundering. No, I've never done anything like that. But your SSN were registered in that. Now, what, she what said, the, the person I spoke with, she said that, what's her name? She said that the... Uh, there was a house rented under my social? Yes. What? I, I didn't know you rented houses under your social. I, I've been, I, I own my no, own I'm house, but my, but in the days when I was renting houses, I'd never used my social security number. But there were, which were rented on your name, sir. On your name and on your social. Well, how about the handwriting? I can fight that in court. Uh, all they got to do is go by the handwriting and uh, that will exclude me. So what you're telling me is that you will hire a lawyer, right? I'm going to have to, yes. Okay, so as a citizen of U.S., sir, you have a right to keep lawyer, but in this case, as it is related to money laundering and drug trafficking, sir, you can keep lawyer after 10 days of police custody. Whoa, and whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, after, after three ten, wait a minute, you then, can't, then after you have 10 days, wait, wait a minute, after 10 days of custody, I can, I can hire a lawyer, you mean you're going to lock me up for 10 days and then I can hire a lawyer? Yes, sir. You got to yes, be sir. kidding! Whatever happened to due well, process? You're it, innocent until proven guilty. Like if you if you prove yourself, like if you prove you're guilty in front of jury members, then you have to face life. Yes, you can't. You prison. just can't lock me up for ten days and you, you, uh, and uh, not this allow me to get the legal representation. Sir, this is not a, give me a moment. So like this is not a small thing which you did, sir. It is. This is a big thing. Big yes, yes, but what I'm saying is you can't lock me up for 10 days and then uh, not allow me to uh, have uh, legal representation. Like there, will be, 
interrogation between you and the police department and with the DA and the uh, Department of Treasury, sir. We'll be having interrogation with this. This is the strangest people. thing I ever heard. What's interesting, sir? What you're telling me? Uh, it's it's being locked up, and then the ca for ten days, then I can hire an attorney. Mm-hmm. Due process. You're innocent until proven guilty. But go ahead. I want to find more about what's going on. Like we need to prove yourself innocent in front of everyone. Okay. So for that only we are here. If you don't cooperate, then. It's your will and wish where the cops will be landing on your doorstep. They'll be landing on my doorstep. Ten minutes. Mm -hmm. With the next ten minutes. And they'll be taking you to their custody, yes, sir. Hey. You don't even have my address. What's my address? We you have should have it there. What's Why my address? Why should I tell it to you, sir? Pardon? Why should I tell it to you? The cops will be coming <laughs> there. And Why be should you tell it to me? Let because me you. you should have my address. You can tell me my address. We have it. Like we have every information of yours, sir. Okay, what information do you have? What information do you have? Everything about you. Everything? Yes. Where do I live? Sir, we can't tell anything about your personal information in this recorded line, sir. Oh, wow, this is United States. This is not uh, the third world country. This is United States. I didn't tell that this not is South America, sir. This, this is U.S. I know that. Wow, this is strange. Go ahead. Like, if you prove yourself that you are guilty, then you should be a lifetime imprisonment in the prison. Okay? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I'm found, if I, if I prove myself guilty, I'm going to be found guilty. Uh, I'm going to do life in prison. Uh huh. You got to be kidding. That, that's, I've never heard of that. That's life in prison. If I find yes. myself guilty. Well, I'm not going to find there myself guilty. Like, there will be a non bailable arrest warrant against you for the next 10 years. Whoa, wait a minute, wait years. a minute. Oh, hold it. I get, I don't understand. I get lifetime, if I find myself guilty, now I've got a non bailable arrest warrant, and I've been locked up for 10 years. I, explain that to me. What should I explain it to you, sir? It doesn't make any sense. You said something about I would be, uh, if I find myself guilty, I'll be uh, locked up for life. Uh, then you said uh, as a, as there's a non non bailable uh, bail, mm -hmm. and I'll be locked up for ten years. Mm -hmm. Without bail. Like, uh, like you see, you asked me for the address, right? Like uh, you also know it is very easy to copy anyone's signature, crooks. Are smart enough to do with that, sir? Because we are concerned about your safety. Oh yeah, security. there's a lot of there's a lot of crooks out there. A lot of them, trust yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Person cannot use your assistant for criminal activity anymore. Yeah. It means whatever information lied, lined to the assistant across whole of the USA will be seized and freezed by the law and enforcement. Okay. Yeah. So for that reason, we are not providing you any personal information from our end. Okay. So for the reason only, we are asking you the questions. We are here just to help you from it, okay? Not yeah, help me. You about sound like you're trying to put me away for life. No, sir. We are here just to help you out with it. Okay. Hello. So just give me a moment, sir, okay? Okay, sure, yeah. Hey, Deb, I think you may have to uh, contact our lawyer. I think you have to. I need to speak with him. Make an appointment. Hello? Yes, hello. Like, so what you're telling me is that you're not involved in this and you don't know anything about this. Is yeah, correct, that's, sir? Cr that's correct. That's absolutely correct. I know so now, nothing about it. So now the information which we have over here is stating that there are seven business bank accounts under your name, which has a total balance of three hundred thousand dollars, and this money does not belong to you, right? Definitely not. I wish I had three hundred thousand dollars. No, it doesn't so now, belong what to I me. Is, now, what I believe is that there might be a possibility someone has an access to your personal information, and you might be a victim to identity theft. So, do you understand what we're trying to tell you? Well, yes, uh, uh, I'm, I might be a victim of identity theft. I am, but I've been threatened with, uh, uh, if I find myself nope. guilty, 
I'm going to get life in prison, then there's a non uh offense, I guess I get 10 years. I don't know what that was about. So, yes, sir, like, I do you understand, like, uh, now there are some questions I would like to ask you, sir. Sure. Like, is there anyone with whom you have shared your assistant in the past? No, apart from the no, bodies? no, uh, no, none whatsoever. Okay, like, do you, have you applied online for payday loans or personal loans, sir? Where no, you need to no, give your assistant? no, I already answered that with uh, the other person I talked to, what's his name? Um, no, I've okay. never, I've never, I've never applied for online loans. No, never have. Okay, so like, is there anyone whom you suspect or someone who might try to seek revenge from you? Oh, heck, I don't know. I can't think of anybody offhand. Okay, sir. So now what we have to do is we have to go and differentiate exactly what information is true and what information is fake. As whatever information the government is having is fraud information. So I just want to ask you some questions over this recorded line and I want you to be completely honest so that we can help you in a better way. Are we clear on this? Sure, yeah. Like how many addresses are linked under your name, sir? I only have one address. Like uh, how many cars you own under your position? Uh, I only have uh, one car. What's your car got to do with it? Okay, like how many financial institutes you are banking with? Uh, just one. So what is the name of the bank, sir? Uh, bank of West Virginia. Oh, that's sorry. I changed my bank. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's United Bank. I, I changed my bank. It's United Bank. Okay, like... Uh, are you holding a checking account or a savings account with them, sir? Uh, checking account. Okay, like how much is the approximate balance in your checking account? Oh, uh, probably about 30000 something, uh, 3500 I think. 3500 oh, I'm sorry, not 35000 30, 30000 500 something like that, yeah. Okay, sir. So, my, like, my wife do you does all the finances. She takes care of all the finances, but so I'd have okay, to ask Do you her. have, yes, sir. do you have any IRA or 401k account, sir? No, I'm retired. I don't have a 401k. So, do you have any future investments where you might have invested cash money? No, no. Okay, sir. Uh, which class driving license do you hold, sir? Uh, which class? Uh, just regular, I guess. I standard driver's license. I don't know what class it is, but... Okay, sir. Like, what, do you what's have any class have to, cuts, what's, the class, what's the class have to do with it? I have a motorcycle endorsement. Okay, like, uh, do you have a credit card? Uh, yes, I have a debit card. No, credit card. Uh, no, just a debit card. I had at one time uh, several credit cards. I got myself in trouble, and I did away with them, and... Uh, got back on track and just using a debit card now okay sir so thank you for the information now what I have to do is I have to forward this information to the Department of Treasury for your asset verification what's the Department and of I Treasury have to yeah. Mm -hmm. what's for your asset verification and I will have to explain the situation to them that you're not involved in this and no, you not. don't know anything about it okay so now just stay online for a moment. Let me talk with the Department of Treasury on the other line and let me explain your situation to them and I will see what I can do for you, okay? So okay. Just, just be online, sir. Okay, okay. Be, okay. Be Hello? Hello, yes, I'm here. So now the Department of Treasury has verified your asset and they have also found out that there are no criminal allegations against your name, sir. The no, there shouldn't be. No, I, I, in my younger, I, in my younger days, it wasn't serious. But uh, neighbor but called the police on me for uh, uh, lollygagging. Money, uh -huh, like money laundering and drug trafficking case. So on the basis of that, there is only one option provided to you by the Department of Treasury, sir, yeah. which is the ADR option, which stands for Alternative Dispute Restitution. Yeah. Under the ADR option, the government is giving you two ways to handle the situation like by going publicly and maintaining privacy like if you go for the first option going publicly which means there will be an article in tomorrow's leading newspaper 
with your photograph about the incident. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Since when do they, 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 they can't do that. They can't throw my picture in the newspaper and uh, uh, moment, accuse, so me, me, accuse me of something I didn't do. I could sue them. That's slang. Let me finish it. Let me finish it. Which means all your property and bank account will be freezed. And you have to uh, have proof the source of the assets you have, which will take approximately six months of your time to get it resolved. And all your creditors will be informed about this, which means if you have borrowed any money in the form of loans, mortgage, you have to repay them immediately because after the article in the newspaper, they will not wait anymore for their money to recover. And the second option is maintaining privacy, which means that it will be between you and the Treasury Department and the resolvement will be done in 72 hours. The Treasury, I don't see how the Treasury Department has anything to do with this. They're, they're not, they have nothing to do with this Treasury. Because uh, anyone knowing it, in that you have to maintain secrecy. No other party should secrecy. know about the resolvement from your, so from your side. You just have to follow the guidelines laid down by them and they will make sure you're out of it in 72 hours, okay? For which option you're going to go for, sir? The first one or the second one? Uh, the second one? I don't want to lose everything. You mean tell me I'll lose okay. my house? My house is paid for. How can I lose my house? I don't know on my house. My car is paid okay, for. Sir, How so can I lose my car? Okay. Give me they can't answer. confiscate my house and confiscate my car. Because there is uh, your assistant and your name in that, sir. So further down, I'm struggling here to save you out from it, okay? I'll be saving you from that, okay? I you still can't see how they can confiscate my personal property. Because, like, there are many transactions were done under your name, sir. That's going to put my the myself, my wife, my dogs out on the street. I mean, what, you, this, this is the U.S. Hey, you're you're aware of that, just, right? So, I, I'm here, yes, sir. I'm here just Well, they may office. do that. The U.S. may do that, but, yeah, go ahead. So now, as you have selected option number two, the privacy, your SSN is the prime evidence of this case, right? Like, we will have to block your SSN and safeguard all your liquid assets, which means Treasury Department will take over your assets under them for 24 hours by converting your money into the digital voucher, okay? So, as you have selected the privacy resolvement, in this matter, what we need to do is safeguard all your money and liquid assets on a digital bond, which is secured by the Norton Security for 24 hours, until we get a new social number un under your name. This means the government bodies will not have an access to your funds. It is just like a bank account, but not exactly a bank account. This is a facility provided by government to secure funds on an emergency basis. As we cannot link your name or social with any financial institution or any third party account, as your social is already compromised. So the reason you will have to con convert your money into the digital voucher is because your assistant will not be related to any of the digital currency which you will submit to the Treasury Department. So once you will save well, I'm all confused. your I'm confused. I'm confused. Which like, everything you're, everything you're saying is just I'm just it's just uh, uh, just confused. Now you say you're going to give me a new social security number, a card. Yes, sir, like, Who's to say that yeah, that won't get compromised? What happens if that get compromised? That is a new one, sir, okay? Yes, so like, that can be compromised as minimum. well. Then what you're telling me is that you're going to fight for it with your lawyer, right? Well, this, uh, uh, is a, a first-year law student, student could beat this in court. I mean, you're, 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 you don't have no evidence, and you're blaming me, and you I know I have nothing to do sir. with it. For that only, I'm here to just help you out from it, to prove okay. yourself anything. Okay, go ahead, okay. I'm just a little upset. I, you know, I, I, you have to understand. I'm a little upset. The reason you will have to convert your money into the digital voucher is because your assistant will not be related to any of digital currency, which you will submit to the Treasury Department. So once you will safeguard all of your liquid assets and money, the Department of Treasury will issue you a new assistant and a new safe bank account in which all of your money will be Wait a minute, they're gonna, they're, they're gonna issue me a new bank account? Yes, sir. I, I can't open up a, another bank account on my own? I, they have to do it? No. The government will be giving you a new assistant and a new bank account, a safe bank account, which is linked by the government. 
So there will be. Well, who is this safe money. bank account? What is this safe bank? Is that from my bank? Would that be in my bank? It can be, sir. It can be from your bank or from the other banks. Uh, the other banks, I guess, they're not mine. I'll talk to the uh, senior official about this, okay? Yeah. Like, they'll be providing you from your bank also. Okay. Now, there are some certain conditions and protocols which you need to follow under the ADR option as this is an ongoing investigation and you are a part of this you are a part of this investigation okay yeah so the first condition is as one of this as as one of the investigating officer of the treasury department and an agent from the DEA is over this conversation monitoring our call till the time you will safeguard all of your money and register all of your voucher with the treasury department you cannot disconnect this line and you cannot put me on hold and you cannot put me on a mute. Did you say okay? the DA is, you D DEA is monitoring the call right now? Yes, sir. Wow, okay. The reason you will have to stay on the line with me is because I need to record every conversation which is between me and you okay. as I will play this recording in front of the judge and the jury members and when the recording court? will be what, for what, what, what judge? What court? What? What court is this? What court are you talking about? The court, sir. Which court it'll be? From your from your state. It'll be your West state West Virginia? Court. Yes. I don't know what court that is. I don't know where it's at. We will let you know, sir, in the last, okay? In the last, so okay. You let me know in the yes, last, okay. And, and one recording will be forwarded to the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission. FTC, FTC, now the FTC is involved? Yes, sir. Well, how about and the FBI? You got the FBI involved? This is under serious. Your name and prove you hey, Deb, Deb, I'm, I'm in deep shit, Deb. That's, I'm sorry, I'm talking to my under wife. Under your name and prove you as a genuine person, okay? So you will I'm have genuine, to stay yes. on the line with me okay. till you get a confirmation number and get your appointment fixed. Uh. So in the looking conditions, as you have selected the option number two, privacy, this is very confidential information about you, so you cannot disclose this information to any of the third party, or if you will disclose the information to any third person, or if any third party is involved in this uh, case, then the law enforcement will be suspicious about you, and your ADR option will be cancelled straight away, as it will be considered as a conflict. Can I tell my wife? My wife? I have to tell my no, wife. Sir. I can't no, tell no, my no, wife. No. I have to tell her. I can't there keep this from my wife. Name, sir. I cannot keep something this big uh, from my wife. You There's can tell no way. So once your assistant is permanently blocked, and the third condition is, once your assistant is permanently blocked, you will only have a widow of uh, two hours time to safeguard all your liquid assets and money and submit it to the treasury department. So the maximum time which will be given to you to safeguard your money and liquid assets will be two hours and 45 minutes Oops. not more than that from okay? when from when so, from now so this is the three conditions that you need to follow very strictly sir to take care uh, now you can decide that whether you will like to cooperate with the government or not i guess i have no choice okay sir so now look, let me give you the basic information that what exactly you have to do right now i will stay online with you and i will give you all the information step by step okay Okay. So now what yeah. you have to do is, you need to go to your bank and you need to withdraw all of your money in cash. And once you have the money in cash with you, you need to convert it into the digital voucher which you can purchase from the government certified stores. Once you government the voucher, certified store? What, what's a government certified store? I'll be, uh, I'll be telling you sir, the voucher, you have to provide me the voucher registration number so I can register it with the Department of Treasury. And once I will register all of your vouchers with them, the Department of Treasury will send a social allotment letter to your local SSA office, and I will be giving you a confirmation for a, for your appointment. You have to go there and collect your social allotment letter and the certificate from the Department well, of Treasury. Well, that's going to take a few, few days. You said you're going to send a... Uh, clearing. Not few days, but the next two days. Next two okay, days, well... In, uh, yes, sir. In SSA office which is declaring that the money you have in the digital voucher are clean money, okay? So this is just some basic information I provided to you. Now I will stay online with you and I will give you all the information step by step, okay? 
So now the first thing I want you to do is carry your driving license, SSN card, cell phone charger, debit card, credit card, what? and move towards the bank. And once you reach the bank parking lot, let me know. I'll give you all the information step by step. Okay. Wait a minute. What? 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 What's all this secrecy? I, this. This is. Um, this is mind-boggling. I gotta take Not my money. I gotta take my money out, and then I gotta go where? Yes, sir. I'll be helping out with that. Okay. First, take the money from your bank, where we'll be tra uh, converting the your money into the digital voucher, which will be safely secured by the government. So once you have this new social number by tomorrow or day after. So they will be depositing all of your funds in your new safe bank account, okay? Uh, You're just taking your money, sir. Nothing apart from that. So they're going to uh, take my money out, go to a government certified store or whatever that is, uh, mm -hmm. and then they're going to turn around and give my money back to me. Yes, sir. Well, my they son, my <laughs> son, my son is the manager of that bank. Hang on. Hey, Deb. Call Rob, tell him to uh, liquidate our account and put it in his account right away. Don't ask questions right now. I'll explain later. Have him take all the money out and put it in his account. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then it's your wish, sir. Like, you need to, like as I said before, if you just tell the information, whatever, whatever we are speaking right now, we are going I'm talking to my party. wife. I told her to tell my My son's the manager at that bank. I told her to call him, liquidate my account, and put it in his account. Mm -hmm. So it's it's being done right now. Then, be, then what is what is the information is like the cops will be coming to your home within the next ten minutes, and they will be arresting you and arresting taking you to me? their custody. Arrested? They yes, can't do that. They can't just custody. come to my house and arrest me for something like that. They will take you to their custody, and they will like they will talk to you in the court. Okay, so I will be I'll be seeing you in the court. Thank you, sir. Well, I'll tell you what. Hey, scammer, I'll tell you what. Kiss my ass, you piece of shit. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, crap. I had a hard time getting all these uh, SSA scammers. They kept hanging up on me. I was lucky to get this one. Well, yeah, I tell, I'll call my son telling him to put the money back into my account. So, <laughs> Now, one thing these uh, scammers have in common, uh, be it... Uh, uh, Social Security Administration scammers, uh, IRS or fake tech support, or uh, uh, refund scammers and others. Uh, one thing they all have in common, they make no sense whatsoever. Whatever they say makes no sense whatsoever. There's no rhyme nor reason for what they say. Do not fall for these scams. The Social Security Administration will not call you. Uh, the IRS will not call you. Any reputable computer tech support company will not call you. Uh, that goes for uh, your router. Uh, for instance, I have a uh, Netgear router. If I receive a call, uh, somebody claiming to be from Netgear and I have a problem, it's a scam. Same goes for your printer, uh, your modem, uh, even your internet service provider. These, uh, these companies will not call you. Uh, if you do receive a call, do not. Uh, make any conversation with these people. It's a scam. Now you even find on the internet you can bring up your browser, type in uh, computer tech support. Trust me, you're going to find scams. Uh, that goes for social media, YouTube, uh, e uh, email, uh, various different email clients. There is no uh, phone number for the uh, free uh, major email clients. So please don't fall for this. So. I'll catch you on the next one.